Take life one cup at a time. I like that. So I'm using this big cup or big mug <laughs> to do a silken tofu. So this is my I am so starving. I don't eat by the way until I'm hungry and this is my go-to or one of my go-to when I'm starving healthy. So silken tofu in the Philippines when I was there we always have taho but taho, taho is like a silken tofu with tapioca pearls and it is just so nice and we normally have it on Saturdays because during the week we're at school we start school at 7 o'clock in the morning and so no time to buy the hot. But anyway, this is my Australian quick version of the hot. There's no tapioca, but oh, I'm getting carried away. I'm not eating a lot. I only do half. Okay, so I'm just going to do scoop up half. That's about half. Okay, I've taken the other side. Normally, I sort of cut in half right there. And instead of syrup and tapioca and whatever, hang on. I'll just take this and put this here for now. I use maple syrup so I'll just put a little bit of maple syrup there just about a tablespoon or so and then pop it in the microwave for one minute Ooh, nice and hot so what I do is stir 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 <laughs> now we're gonna eat 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 my tofu Taho, ah, oh, tastes just like taho, I tell ya. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon here in sunny Canberra, Australia. Forecast today was 27 degrees and tomorrow 28 degrees. So summer is hopefully well underway, but we are going to get a couple of cold days again in the next few days. So for today, I need to water my succulents. So how do you water your succulents during summer? So as you can see, I've got some hose ready in there, but this is for the area that is over here that is protected. So that doesn't get direct sunlight at this time anymore. So I can water this area any time of the day during summer even but if the temperature goes up to above 30 then any succulents that are in this area will probably <laughs> be bound to boil up and cook up and die so in here i've got some succulents here that haven't been watered for a long 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 time and they're all nice and plump so i don't really need to water this area because despite the fact that we're warming up, because it's summer here, we are still getting a lot of rain. We had heavy rains two days ago, three days ago, and then yesterday and the day before that, we only have spot of rain. So it's not enough to wet the area that is in my 50% zone area. I call this, this is 50% UV shade cloth area that a lot of them are already under cover but still exposed to the rain but not all are getting wet or getting watered basically. So a lot of these areas here are open to the 50% rain. <laughs> what if they get 50% rain if you got a shade cloth? But anyway, so they are well and truly, you can see this nice fat one. Ah, oh, look at that. So this is quite heavy. So I can feel that that's got a lot of water in it. So I don't need to water this ones. The ones that I mainly water are the, oh, hello, B, are this ones here. So you can see this area here are all dry i can see dry and if i dig down an inch then i can feel some wet soil from previous watering or moisture that has retained in the soil but otherwise they are still dry on top and the mature plants has got longer roots can reach down in the bottom where the where the water is but the baby plants like are these ones the small ones that i plop in there <laughs> They can't, they haven't got a long enough root to go down to where the water is. Although it encourages them to grow roots better or faster. Oh, look, hang on. 
few of them growing in there. So they still need to be watered because they're mainly on top. So when is the best time to water them? For me, I water my succulents in summer when the temperature is below 30 degrees in my covered area because they're not experiencing the harshness of the sun. And look at this gorgeous, uh, what are you, swirly whirly. Oh my God, summer dormant, look at that. I wrote summer dormant, so, and it's wet. Uh, Albuca, that's it, <laughs> frizzle sizzle. I forget the name, but anyway. And we have been getting so much rain that it's really a lot of water pooling in the saucers and so many plants and everything. So now I've got my mosquito coil running in here because even during the day, I can't walk around this area without not getting bitten by mosquito. The mosquito, I hate them flying mosquito. And they're big as well and they suck the blood out of me. I can't use AeroGuard because it just feels sticky. And when it's sticky, it's like my brain feels sticky. I'm so highly sensitive. I'm a sensitive new age woman. Anyway, so I need to water my babies. That needs watering. So how do you tell? This one's here, this area where in my variegated ones are, look. This crassula, that's very, very light. Crassula thersiflora, look how beautiful that is. And Anacamsero selefiastrum is very, very light. They're supposed to be dormant, but still I can feel softness. There's a certain softness to it. And look, little leaves are harvested, it's just gonna die. And Mini Bell is a bit heavy, so she's fine. So basically it's that one has got like, I think, 40% water still there. So certain plants that I deem that needs watering is what I water. And you can water them if they're in a protected area. So in this case, this is covered by this top shelf here. But the ones on top here, say for example, we did not get any rain, okay? So now I'm still gonna proceed and say, oh, there still needs a bit of watering. And you can see this one hasn't been watered enough because if you get 50% uh, shade cloth and then it rains, <laughs> do they only get like 25% then? But anyway, this one now, my Pachypatum Garcia is looking a bit thirsty, the leaf is all shriveled up and it's quite light. Also this one here, I can see that that's really light. So this one, uh, narrow mouth pots needs to be soaked. So I need to bring this inside and soak the whole pot because if I just sort of hit it with my water or my what I'm giving it, then it's not, I'm gonna waste a lot of my precious seaweed solution and also my fertilizer so let's just proceed and water this so also this one oh my goodness look at you are you rotting but it's so beautiful normally when they go yellow like that that's a sign that they're about to die <laughs> it's called stressing your succulents so this one has been dry i can tell because everything is just looking so beautiful so they need to be watered <laughs> But when you water again, I've shown this on my, a few of my videos already, that you really have to saturate it. Completely saturated. Totally saturated. Look, it's, it's leaking in the bottom now. But the water is going to all the pot down there, so I don't mind. I'm gonna keep watering so that side is not uh, saturated yet. There you go. You're coming out now? Yes. And because they are, uh, what do I have here? Chihuahua Yensis, TP, Momotaro. That one is probably Momotaro and that one there is, oh, that one's TP. That one is probably TP as well. Hang on, I forgot now. So, but anyway, one of them is Linzayana. The Chihuahua Yensis that was here was the one that died and rotted and it's now producing lots of babies i i actually took the leaves off and hoping it would grow again but it did not but it doesn't matter so now so each and every one of these plants crassula has got their own special needs 
they all need to be watered at certain season. When they're dormant, you don't need to water them. Crassula is starting to go dormant because it's getting warmer. But I still water my Crassula, especially this one. Well, actually, because this one came from inside and hasn't, ha hasn't been watered for a while. So I took it out and it was raining and I left it out in the rain and the sun came out and so you can see the tips got burned a little bit that's after being kept indoors for four or five months and then grown and they all got leggy and look compare this to the one that is growing in here and those ones there are all the babies this one I'm holding here was the original mummy plant that produced all those babies so anyway i'll put you here so this is now i put her back in there because i forgot so now even when they're like that you can see the tip is green but that one's drying up so you can also propagate this and just stick it in the soil again and they will naturally hang on are you growing some more there yes they will naturally take on roots okay i'll just put you there stay okay and then some birds come and um, take it away so sedum as well so this is my sedum here i just noticed the sedum here this got hit by the frost it was a beautiful plant uh, i didn't grow it i bought it already grown and i was gonna bonsify it because they already have a good bonsai shape structure and hang on that one i got for free died <laughs> i forgot because when it's raining you can't really work in the garden but anyway that was my free plant from bunnings but it doesn't matter so now this one small pots like this uh, certain plants are very strong they don't care what time of the year you water them but if you do keep the soil wet all the time or you haven't got the right soil then they are going to die 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 the die the die 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 okay now this one lithops do you need watering okay I'm just gonna water it, I'm not supposed to, but anyway. Now I'm gonna get to find out whether you are going. Actually, I should, because my other lithops there that's being rained on is doing fine. It's doing fat so, fat so, fat so. And this one as well. This one, I'm supposed to put this in the garden, that's why I just put it there. That's already a baby of the mummy. I don't know where the mummy went. So, anyway. You get the idea as to watering wise. So if they look like they needed watering, even though when it's summer or warm, then give them water only late in the afternoon when it's not too hot or the temperature is sort of cooling down. That's the trick. So you can water even at nighttime in summer as long as it's below 30 degrees Celsius. Now these ones are Van Keppel. This is a slow growing Van Keppel. This is a fast growing Van Keppel. So I got this one from Australian Elki. <laughs> and this one I got from Rose, <laughs> Chinese. So this is my Chinese Van Keppel. And this is my Australian Van Keppel. So now they're gonna have a competition as to um, which one is gonna grow fast. Uh, or faster so this one I started with one plant and so far I only have ooh, four there's another baby down in the bottom so I want to three four now soon hopefully but it is slow growing this is fast growing do you need watering yes do you need watering no it's a bit heavy do you need watering yes 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 so I'm just gonna so I'm going to proceed and water, yes, Crassula Moon Glow. That one obviously doesn't need watering, it's rotting. This came from inside as well. And maybe you need watering, hey? Okay, I'll attend to that later on. No, it doesn't need watering, that's too much watering. So that one i actually soak it i forgot that i uh, soak it before i take take it took it out here now this one definitely hopefully it doesn't die and you can see that fungus nuts i'm gonna be dealing with you soon you're not gonna be happy okay 
that one needs watering. Pompton carousel needs watering. I should remove the leaves first, but it doesn't matter because there's some dry leaves there. But I'm still going to water it. I don't want to kill this Compton carousel, but I'm really tempted to water the top. <laughs> because I like to water the top. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> No, you're killing her. Okay, also this Nabina. Yes, water her. Oh, this one looks like thirsty. We'll water that one too. Now in the next few days, <laughs> if these plants die, I'll let you know. No, I'm just kidding. They should be all right. Unless, of course, there's other factors involved that makes them do that. So I just don't like watering the top because when I show you the video, it doesn't look pretty. But otherwise, in the past, before I started doing YouTube videos, all my plants, I'm telling you, I water like this. I did not care much about the look. Even my Lawi, a friend of mine used to come here just about every day, has seen me. I was like, oh, what are you doing to your Lawi? And I'm like, why? Why are you watering it on top? I said, well, what's wrong? That's how I found out about Farina, that you're supposed to keep them pristine and pretty and not get them wet. And then I started uh, not watering them on top and then they go rot on me. So there you go. I'm just going to continue watering this and I'll show you to the next part of my garden. Anyway, guys, you know what I'm doing. Oh, sorry, I forgot I'm watering you. Uh, so you have an idea now. Okay, this one's now because I've got fertilizer and seaweed conditioner. This is the spirit of 76 in the bottom. And that's Debbie. And you know how to tell, um, I just found out that to tell the difference, you have to wait in the flower. One goes up and one goes down. The one that goes down is, I think, spirit of 76 or should, should it be going up the spirit? And Debbie should be down in the bottom. I don't know. So I'm going to look into it. <laughs> but anyway, this is my Debbie. Nice and fat. And some people said, uh, who comes here, they said, it doesn't look like a Debbie. Well, believe me, it's a Debbie. And another Debbie. Sorry, I'll show you another Debbie. Now this one, another. Now this one, actually, that's the spirit of 76 there. I had a Debbie up the top here, but I lost it. I misplaced it again somewhere. So anyway, guys, now I'm going to spend... Another two hours looking for Debbie. Oh, there it is. What are you? A Debbie, yes. Okay. But that one, but that one there is Spirit of 76. And this one is Debbie. So the two of them so different from each other. So anyway, that's all for now. And I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to water. Babies, thirsty. They need to grow. Sub Corombosa LAU getting wet by the rain and look it's rotting because it's only getting spit on see that's what happens they need water okay but anyway that's easy to grow so I'm gonna give you some drink see how the soil's coming away from the edges that's how I know they need a drink How pretty is that latte rose? Oh my goodness. It's so pink. Gorgeous. This one is where are you? Mayalin or Marcus? That's Marcus, I think. Papa's rose hiding there. Oh, Manaudis. You need some drink as well. Again, that's suffering. So we have to give it some sustenance. 